Here's a 1991 Harley Ultra Classic Electroglide. This bike is a salvage bike and we are going to be stripping it for its parts. I'm going to start with the front end. As you can see, the front end is completely damaged. Front rim has been pushed back. And the forks are most definitely bent. Coming to this side, the tank actually appears to be in decent shape. Very minor scratches, just a lot of dirt and dust marks on it. So this bike has 55, well, actually, I believe it says 5,595 miles on it. I um, believe that the odometer has been flipped um, due to inside of the trunk here. It does state overhaul service done at 74,000 miles, so most likely this bike has 105,000 miles on it. Now we do have this saddlebag right here. It is on this side. It actually appears to be in good shape. Just some scratches on it. Right down in there. As you can see on this side. Now these are the seats for it. Driver backrest. Appears to be in good shape. No scratches. They just have the uh, average wear and fade in them. There's a little nick right here. As you can see, on this side, appears to be in good shape. And again, this saddlebag on the left hand side is in pretty good shape. It just has some scratches and scuffs on it. Now the luggage, the rear luggage, as you can see the fiberglass is cracked right here. The rubber on the right rear shock is torn some. There is some, appears to be surface rust on it. See the backrest, pretty good shape for the passenger. We will show that both the rear speakers and the front speakers and the radio do work. Um, we have not figured out the volume on it, but uh, we will show uh, that they work and that this bike actually runs and drives. We did have to take off the air filter here. Uh, it was, oil was coming out through this oil line into it and as actually stopped since uh, we were able to get it running. Um, it has not been coming out anymore but we did take it off because that oil filter is saturated with oil. As you can tell this whole right hand side is bent inward and due to that you can see that the tank has a dent right here and right down in there. Now I'm going to show comes on and then I'll show that the radio works but it's going to be really loud real quick so we're just going to test it beautiful song right there um, we will also show that it runs now we can't really test the CB out on it See, most of the, a lot of the wiring is kind of roughed up in the front end. Um, it's definitely uh, been hit hard in the front. Most likely, the frame may be bent in the front. We are unsure until we get down into it. Also, one more thing I'd like to show is that the rear rim is actually in good shape, and the rear fender is in pretty good shape. Um, Dan, can you do the lights for me in the rear end? I'm going to just show that the turn signals and brake lights work and all the lighting on the trunk works.
Turn the, turn the accessories on. There you go. When we're hitting the brakes, it doesn't seem like it's burning. No, nothing's making it uh, come bright. You got the blinkers on? All right, neither one's coming on. Uh, try left and right. Because I know they were working before. Yeah, neither one's. Oh, the right one's coming on very lightly. A lot of the wires are messed up on this bike, so the wiring harness will most likely not be for sale due to it. It does appear to have some aftermarket tips on it. Kicking out to the sides. But uh, we're going to show that it fires up and runs. That's the horn trying to come on, but the horn's not really working too well. Gotta give it some gas. Hey Mike, can you come here? website at rbcyclesalvage.com. Thank you for watching.